In a previous video, uh, we have shown how to give Cartesian product of r and times, so r to the nth power, a structure of vector space over r. I also mentioned that this example of vector space is uh, fundamental among all the possible examples because all the objects, all the elements of this vector space have a very precise geometrical interpretation. So in this video we are going to show, with the help of this 3D animation, how to associate to each vector in uh, R, as a particular case of R to the nth power, taking n equal to 1, and then, so to associate to every element of of R uh, a point in a certain Euclidean space and then how to associate to every element of R squared a point in a Euclidean space and finally how to associate to R cubed um, a, a precise point in a, a coordinate system of three-dimensional coordinate system Okay, so we can start from the case of R Okay, we see the, here the first example which we have the number so these are elements in R real so r to the one power, so it is just a, a trivial Cartesian product in which uh, n is taken to be equal to one, therefore our vector space is just r itself. So the elements are just real numbers, and we see how to associate to this real number, which we call p1, and let's say that p1 is three, how do, do we associate a geometrical object to this real number? So we draw a line. So this is supposed to be a line. Of course, it cannot be infinite because we do not have enough room for it. But so we'll indicate with the arrow in which we have an increasing direction. As you can see, we choose a zero element and then we just write at a certain distance the in integral numbers so the distance is the same therefore the distance between zero and one is the same as the distance between one and two and so on so the increasing direction is right uh, in this example therefore we have a unique point on this line which lies at a distance 3 from, from the 0. Okay, so once we have fixed 0 and we have fixed the scale which relates to the distance 1, we are able to associate to this real number a very specific, specific point on the line and the, the point lies exactly here. Then Q to 1 is another element of the real, uh, another real number. It is negative 4. Uh, therefore, we have a unique point on this line which lies at the distance 4 from 0. But since the sign is negative, it, it will be lying on the left side of 0 instead of the right side. Okay, So all the numbers lying on the right of zero, they will be positive, and those on the left, they, they will be negative. So we do another example, A1, this case is negative six, so where is it going to be? So it is going to be at, at the left from zero, and at a distance of six, therefore it's going to, is going to appear right here, okay? So all these squares have sides that are precisely in length 1, each of them. 
therefore if here is negative 4 here it will be negative 5 and here will be negative 6 okay there you go then b1 equals to 2 and b1 will appear right here okay now that the situation is pretty much clear <laughs> as far as r is concerned let's move on to r squared so r squared is defined to be r times r Cartesian product that is therefore elements of r squared are couples of real numbers and we cannot anymore place two real numbers on a line okay so of course we can find somehow um, a bijection between uh, a line and r squared but this bijection is not going to have any geometrical meaning therefore we are going to extend the geometrical shape of a line to something different b-dimensional instead of just one dimension and in a b-dimensional coordinate system we will see that we can repeat more or less the same kind of procedure and find points in this system associated to each of these vectors that will be appearing here on the left hand side so let's see what happens okay so there you go you see we have now two axes one is x axis the other is y axis So now we have P2, and we define P2 to be the, the element of R squared, which is uh, uh, the couple of real numbers given by 3 as the first one and 2 as the second coefficient. Now, how do we place this element in R squared in this coordinate system? So we are going to move and play uh, start from p1 which is here so it, it is corresponding to the number three in just uh, in the in the previous case and we will be moving it up the second given by the second coordinate so here the second coordinate is two therefore we'll be moving up and not down now there are negative numbers on the y-axis so up until we'll be at the height two and there we'll have the p2 appearing okay so p2 has coordinates 3 2 so once again we start from p1 which is just representing the first coordinate 3 on the x-axis and then move up or down according to the sign of the second coordinate in this case we'll be moving up until we'll be reaching the height 2 and that will be our point our mm, representation of our vector 3 2 as a geometrical object so a point in this coordinate system okay we do the same with all the other vectors so as you see each of them each of them keeps the same coordinate as before the first one and then we'll get a second coordinate in order to make it a vector in r squared and the representation of it will be exactly as explained in the first case now b2 has not appeared yet but you will see that we move 2 on the right from 0 so we start from b1 basically and then either move 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 it up or down according to the sign of the second coefficient now the second coefficient has a negative sign in front therefore we will be we will be moving it down until we'll be hitting negative 5.5 so here we have negative 4 here will be negative 5 and negative 5.5 will be around around this height okay let's see so we have b2 that appeared exactly as it was supposed now what happens if we pass to r3 r3 
elements in R3 are triples of real numbers therefore in this animation we will start from P2 which has the first coefficient 3, the second coefficient 2 and we will be adding another coefficient in order to make it an element, a vector in R3 okay. again we have the same problem as the previous case which is the fact that we are not going to be able to fit this three-dimensional vector in this Cartesian coordinate system so we will have to change it and make it richer in order to be able to place vectors in R3 and this will happen in the next video mm -hmm.